welcome to Children's Church. It's Auntie Rachel here and I've got Peter and we are so excited. We are going to be ready for praise and worship. Peter, do you like praise and worship? Yay! Are you ready for praise and worship? Let's do praise and worship. Staring into your eyes makes my heart to life when I met you, reaching beyond the skies, running deep, stretching wide, perfect love realized, here with you, now the sun is for real, you will never let go, never let go, oh, it's more than just words, love beyond my control, What's up? This is real love, this is real love Sing this is real love, this is real love
Do you like stories? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to go to the story right now. Hey kids, have you ever had to go to the doctor to get a shot? It hurts and sometimes it's really scary. But for some reason, your parents say that it's good for you and will help you to stay healthy. They might sound crazy. How could something that hurts you help you? Well, in today's story, Abraham was in a similar situation. God asked him to do something really hard and scary. But he trusted God, even though he didn't understand why. Let's see what God asked him to do. God gave Abraham a son named Isaac, even though he was super old. If you remember our last Abraham story, God promised him a son. God made that promise to him when he and his wife were really old. There was no way he can have a kid. But God kept his promise and eventually gave him a son, and they named him Isaac. Abraham loved Isaac a lot. He took care of him and kept him safe. God tested Abraham's faith in a crazy way. God wanted to see if Abraham really trusted him, so he asked him to sacrifice his son. See, back in those days, God's people would sacrifice animals to get rid of their sins. Lucky for us, we don't have to do that anymore because Jesus died on the cross for us. Anyway, Abraham didn't understand why God asked him to do that. Why would God give him his son Isaac only to take him away? But Abraham trusted God and obeyed him. Kids, don't worry. Abraham didn't actually sacrifice his son. God is not going to ask your parents to sacrifice you. Abraham passed the test and proved that he trusted God more than anything. Even though Abraham was really scared and didn't know why, he still obeyed God. Abraham took Isaac all the way to the place he was supposed to sacrifice him. But right before he did it, God interrupted him and told him he didn't have to and that he had passed the test. Abraham showed God that he was willing to give up the thing he loved the most. That probably took a lot of faith. Faith is in believing in God, even though we don't always understand what he's up to. Kids, God might want you to do things that you don't understand. And when that happens, we have to have faith like Abraham. Memory verse. It was by faith that Abraham offered Isaac as a sacrifice when God was testing him. Even though Abraham didn't understand, he was willing to do anything to follow God. Kids, next time you're waiting in the doctor's office waiting to get a shot, have faith that your parents know what they're doing, even though you might not understand. And remember, even though we don't always understand what's going on, we can still have faith in God. Wow! Thanks, Rachel and Peter. Now, what was Peter doing there? Do you think I can also swing on the chair? <gasps> this is so cool! No wonder Peter likes it. Uh, no, I'm just kidding there. I think I'm going to fall. Anyway, let's get down to business. But first, let me get rid of this. In today's story, we learned about Isaac and Abraham. And that was strange that he had to sacrifice his own son, right? Yeah. So let's talk a bit about that. What if you had to sacrifice something you love? What would you sacrifice? Hmm. I think I would have to sacrifice my PlayStation. <gasps> Can you do that? Or my phone because people like playing with their phone i think the worst thing for me if i had to sacrifice anything 
that I love so much would be food. Ah, oh, that is so cool, right? Are you hungry now? Are you getting hungry looking at all that delicious food? I mean, look at that. That looks delicious. But I would have to sacrifice it because I love that so much. But I'd miss it though. What would you sacrifice? Would you sacrifice your favorite toy? Would you sacrifice your brother or sister or your parents because you love them so much? What if God had asked you to sacrifice the one thing you love the most in the world? What would it be? Well, good news is you don't have to answer that question because God died on the cross so we don't have to make any sacrifices. How cool is that? Memory verse. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's give it a try. On the count of three, one, two, three, and here we go. It was by faith that Abraham sacrificed Isaac when God was testing him. Hebrews 11 verse 17. Did you guys get that? Should we try one more time? Now I want to hear you say it very loud. We're going to do it together. On the count of three, two, one. Here we go. It was by faith that Abraham sacrificed Isaac when God was testing him. Yay! You guys did really well. Anyway, I'm going to hand over back to Peter and hopefully he's still swinging on the chair. But anyway, it's been fun guys. Wow, that was an awesome children's church. We hope you had fun and you enjoyed the story and the activity. And we'll see you soon. Bye! Shout it!